In December, 343 and Microsoft will be shutting down the Halo 360 servers. With that date getting closer, I thought it would be fun to throw back to some old 360 games and reminisce with you just one last time. It's obviously not new news, but the date is getting a little bit closer. And for real, how many of you actually play these games on the 360 anymore? Shout out in the comments. I would wager most of you, like me, are playing just MCC when you want your Halo fix. But part of me is still really blue uh, that these are going away because for many of you, myself included, this was a big part of your childhood or teen years or college years. And it is kind of a big deal seeing it being sunset and not being able to hop in and do this any longer. Now we played Halo 3 on the 360 not long ago and it was it's getting rough like there's not a ton of people playing that thing anymore it was pretty challenging I had to try and queue for multiple days. So it's it's really I think at its end date unless you all want to do kind of a repopulate thing and if there's that interest shout out in the comments we I'm sure as a community could organize one last big like Halo 3 repopulate day type deal if there's that interest there. So I want to share with you my story of Halo and why I'm going to miss these games so much now. Halo CE, I didn't get the chance to play very much multiplayer, a few co-op sessions with some friends, but for the most part, the campaign was all I got to experience with that game when I was younger. But Halo 2, man, and Halo 3, those were the days. I had pretty bad internet, I grew up out in the country, and so I never got to actually play Halo 2 online where I lived. I had to go over to my best friend's house, and we would split screen online for hours. And let me tell you, man, the original Halo 2 days, like the beginning of Xbox Live, Halo 2 was the game that made Xbox Live what it is. And the 1 to 50 system, the clan system, honestly, like the birth of custom games. I remember playing Infection back in the day where you literally had to like honor code change teams when you got taken out. It was amazing to be a part of that thing. And for years and years, I loved Halo 2. I would go home and just run through the campaign on Legendary trying to prepare for like the next multiplayer session. And that really was something else, man. That, those were like really cool days. Never got to do a tournament or anything like that, but it just it got me super amped for like the OG, the Halo 3. Now Halo 3, um, cultural phenomenon. I know many of you guys like lived through this. It was part of my teen years and it was outstanding. And I really wish if I was just a teeny bit older when Halo 3 was around, I probably would have tried to team and go to one of those like MLG open tournaments because that would have just been, again, a dream come true. So Halo 3, man, when all of the stuff that was going on from the ad campaign to how much gaming was blowing up, how successful the 360 was, party chat, proximity chat also for these games, like there was a real sense of community and it was just a really good time. Still, same story, bad internet. So the only times I got to really experience Halo 3 online for the beginning years was at a friend's house and playing split screen with him online. And that was such a huge portion of what Halo was for me and such a great reason to like enjoy this title. I was also racing mountain bikes at the same time. Um, I raced pretty seriously right around the time Halo 3 was coming out. I got to do a couple years in the pro category and those last, you know, probably few years of Halo 3 before Reach, I was just focused on mountain bike racing and I kind of just walked away from gaming as a whole. Didn't really play much Halo 3 outside of like some dorm room sessions, and again, always split screen with a friend online for the most part. Then around the time Halo Reach came, I, I slowed down with racing, and I really got to finally sink my teeth back into these 360 Halo games. And that's right around the same time that I started this YouTube channel and got to upload and begin this like YouTube adventure and journey all the way back to 2012. At that same time, I got really into Reach and then got to rediscover Halo 3 because at the time, Players were moving back and forth. A lot of people with Reach like, hey, Halo 3 they thought was better, which I think it was very obviously like a much better game. So a lot of the folks would switch back and just continue playing Halo 3 and vice versa. And you saw a similar thing happen with Halo 4, right? As long as the 360 was still the platform, people were still for the most part jumping between these, these games, 3 Reach and Halo 4. It was a good time, man. Uh, it was a really, really good time. In terms of Halo 4, you know, I found fun in it. I really did. I had two max level accounts and it was cool, but nothing nothing compares to like Halo 3, man. That just stands out in my head as the go-getter. So in celebration of these old 360 games and just getting to sort of reminisce as we're coming into the last few months that their servers are going to be online, share some of your stories down below in the comments. I may not respond to everything, but I do read just about all your comments when I can. For more Halo MCC classic goodness, click the video on the screen. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you again next time.